Hey, Amy from the blog of life.com and today I want to show you how to make a really simple and luxurious foot soak. With all the crazy things going on right now, I need a little bit more TLC, I feel like. I need a little bit more self-care. And one great way to do that is by making your own spa body products. And since we can't go out, not that I did before anyways, but since we can't go out to get a pedicure or anything like that, I thought I would make my own at home. So I'm going to start off with one quarter cup of baking soda, which is already in here. And to this, I'm going to add a quarter cup of Epsom salts. Epsom salts are great because they contain magnesium. Um, they also can really help soften uh, your feet. And also, if you have any, like, if you have achy feet, also really good for that. So I'm going to mix that in here. I like to just kind of crush any of the lumps in there. Now you could leave it at that, but that's not very luxurious. So I'll just add a couple more things. Now let's do a couple drops of some essential oils. I'm using some eucalyptus and then also some lavender, which eucalyptus is very spa-like. It has a beautiful aroma and some lavender. How calm, relax, those achy feet. I don't know about you, but I've been going on a lot of walks, a lot of hikes. Okay, and then the other thing I like to add to this is some dried flowers. I always have these on hand. I know this might not be something that you might always have on hand, but they are pretty easy to find in, say, a bulk section. And I'm going to add about two tablespoons. And so I have some chamomile flowers here, and I also have some lavender flowers. I use these quite a bit, a lot of times for... <laughs> Um, body recipes, but also I use them for, say, blog projects and some pictures. So that's why I always have them around. And you could also do dried roses. Viscous would be beautiful. Gosh, it smells so good now. Eucalyptus and lavender smell really good together. But you could also use whatever blend of essential oils that you like. Or um, you need something more invigorating. You could use spearmint or peppermint. Whatever you have on hand, because that's pretty much what we can use these days. That's it. So now to use this, what you want to do is either get like a foot tub, um, you know, those little wash tubs, or you can use a bathtub and run some warm water in it. And then you're going to add a couple of scoopfuls of this foot soak and then soak your feet for 10, 15 minutes until the water gets cold. Oh, you could also add a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to help remove dead skin. And this will really help soften your feet. If you want to, after it, you could use like a pumice stone, really get off that dead skin. Your feet will feel softer and more relaxed and you'll get the beneficial magnesium found in the Epsom salts that help with a million different functions. In the description box below, I will link where I got all these ingredients and I'll also link to the blog post, exactly how to do it, some other additional add-ins that you might want to try. One of my most popular blog posts recently has been my DIY foot scrub and I will link that below too. So that way you can get a whole spa-like experience with a foot scrub, with your own foot soak, and then you can give yourself a pedicure. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you make some foot soak on here and you try it, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I love to see all the Blossoming Life creations that you're making. I really appreciate all of your support.